Hi everyone, Tam here and Tim. Hello all. Today, thanks to Brian, we're going to be doing another British taste test. Looking forward to this one. Hi Tam and Tim, hope you're both good. I've put in three different teas which are popular in the UK. Also some treats for the cats. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hope they like them. And some other bits for you to try, which are the biscuits. I've also put in beef sticks you've already tried as to one. These ones are from Morrison's, which I think are better. Yeah, so we'll enjoy these later because I don't think there's any way we can try chop cubes. I'd like to see you try one. I'd like to see you try one. Oh, you just drop that in water, do you? It's to make stock up. Vegetable. Lamb, chicken and... Beef? Beef. We have actually tried the Yorkshire chi before. What I thought we could do... Well, I'm going to do something really tricky and you're going to be so impressed. Oh, okay. So, you're going to make a cup of tea? <laughs> I'll be impressed. I make it all the time. Okay, I'm darling. the best tea maker. <laughs> Tim's usually the tea maker in the household, it's true. Because we have three different kinds of tea, we've got the Typhoon and we've also got the Tetley one. And the Yorkshire tea. I have labelled these cups on the bottom with the names of them. And I'm going to make one up in all of these, right? And then we're going to say which is our favourite. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. Good system? Yeah. Why not? Who's going to make it? They're going to know. No, 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 no. And I haven't I'll, thought I'll, that. <laughs> and I'm thinking the tea bag's likely to have a little label on it. But the, oh no. <laughs> you haven't thought this one through. <laughs> still work right I'll make them right and then you leave the room I'll mix them up and then you mix them up and then we don't won't look of course and then voila okay yeah yeah, that, yeah, yeah 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 I think we'll make the teas first so they can sit for a while and draw here's the Tetley one now I think I have seen Tetley here in the supermarket are these the round ones no oh yeah so where's the Tetley cup yeah okay so yeah make the Tetley one Yorkshire tea Square one. Yeah, they all come in different shapes. Interesting. Evidence. Yorkshire square one in. Typhoon. Can I just say the name? Terrible. Don't like Why? it. It doesn't sound like a tea. It sounds like a Thai restaurant. You're gonna you're, <laughs> you're gonna regret saying that because it's gonna be the best one. Well, it's a one cup perfectly measured cup of tea. It says it on the front there. See? Mm -hmm. Typhoon. Never had this one before, and I've never seen it before either. Here. Tea here to open. Oh yeah, that was <laughs> that's one of those ones. Okay. Oh, something two foil bag. Oh, it's a round one again. Thai food. How fun is this? It makes a nice sound. So let those deep for a while. To go with our teas, we have some biscuits, some hobnobs, the oaty ones, the dark chocolate Yum. ones. You love. I you do. love a hobnob. And you love dark chocolate. And I love so. oaty. Like a horse. Yes. To me, part horse, you know. McVitie's hobnobs, the oaty one with dark chocolate. And that'd be nice with our tea. Okay. Two of them. That's yours, the broken one. How beautiful does that look? I think that the UK, dare I say it, might make the best biscuits. Yeah, might they do. Would do. Because they know they have to have something to go with their tea. British people have several cups of tea a day, probably. How many do we have a day? Two. Can I? <laughs> and how many coffees do we have a day? One. Sometimes yeah. two. We'll also have a look at these jammy dodgers. It's a banana Ooh. flavor. Go bananas. Oh, that's interesting. That's a minion. Yep. They're very pretty to look at. Look at that little window there and you've got the little heart. Okay, these ones have been a bit banged around because that box didn't come in great condition. I've got to uncross my legs. <laughs> I... Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I can see it. It resembles the front. How pretty is it? Try a hobnob. We've had these before though, haven't we? I'll still try it. Don't just try one. We'll go halves. Yeah, that's enough to taste. Because you taste. might want to dunk it in your tea though. No. Mmm. Very nice. That odiness it gets me. I like it. You know what gets me? The chocolate. <clears throat> I love the chocolate on it. Beautiful, smooth, rich, dark chocolate. Mm. See, I don't mind the Odie biscuit with the chocolate. That's good. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's try the Go Bananas Jammy Dodgers. Oh, hang on. That's oh. a minion. Yeah, I love hard oh, wow. I didn't even realise that it's a minion on it. See? Oh, that's cool. How am I going to break this? Whoa. Perfect. I'm going to go like cross my legs. Whoa, look at that. You can see that beautiful jam in there. So that's like a banana jam, is it? Oh, yeah. It smells banana-ish. Maybe minions are made of banana. Mmm. Mm. 
It's different, isn't it? That's what I love about it. It is so different. How the many banana. would you have, though? You don't eat half? Them. Have half. Very sweet. Yeah, they're quite rich in the banana flavour, but I quite like the flavour in it. I like the cookie, the biscuit itself. It almost has like a buttery sort of taste Short to it. Shortbready sort of texture mm. to it. Mm, very nice. Mm. Mm. I'm saving some to dunk in my tea, which is horrific really because it's going to be your tea also. You can't do it until you taste it though, because it might change the flavour. Time to put the milk in. Do you have to have milk? How do you get the flavour if you take milk? Well, because milk's in it all, so, you know. How hot. There's a spoon here. It's in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't you using the spoon? Because I'm a man. Okay, that's how you make tea in Australia. If you're a manly man like Tim. Come on. Okay. Everyone's taking tea bags out with their fingers. Keep Come talking. I'm not looking. I'm going to move things around. Oh. Because I have no idea what's what anyway. No, that's true. We don't. Done. They're all even. They look uh -huh. the same. You can't okay. tell the difference. Yep. Some people are saying, oh my gosh, what are you putting milk in tea for? Some people are saying, why'd you get it on the table? It's a jug. <laughs> it's a jug. No, no, it's the Tim. They all do look very similar, which is great. Number one. Is it hot? Mm. Is it too hot? Oh, she's testing it. How else do you do it? Number one. Mm. Keep them in order, Tammy. Oh jeez. How hard is it? Okay, this one here, I'm gonna say this is my least favorite. Well, you put it back where they came from and you won't get them mixed up. Hmm. I don't know, they all taste very similar to me. No, this one, from. this one here is quite tanniny this to me. This is where it came from. But this, that's number one. This is where it came from. That's number one, you're this, mixing them up. This is number two, this is where it came from here. Thank you. She just won't follow orders <laughs> or instructions. <laughs> she <laughs> This is a pretty good tea party, I must say. It tastes the same to me. No, they don't taste it. They're not the same. This one's more of a medium sort of bodied one. Okay. Quite like that one. Did you find any bodies in there? You will after I have biscuits for I'm, it. I'm going to try it with a spoon, like a connoisseur would do. This is the strongest one, in my opinion. Mm hmm. <laughs> what are you tasting right now, tea? Tea. <laughs> you got no idea, do you? Is that. <laughs> not helping you is it they're all nice they are all nice and nicer than the teas we get here that's my least favorite oh, number three oh, really between these two now oh, sorry gosh. hon you're not getting a go <laughs> mm, i like that mm -hmm. okay one two three that's my favorite but don't let it sway my opinion I'm glad you got your legs crossed because you wouldn't have been able to taste it without them crossed. I'm going to go same as you. This one's my favourite. So our favourite tea is... Who would have thought it's a Tetley tea? Tetley tea's our favourite. This is Tim's second favourite. It's my least favourite. Which okay. one is it? Your oh. tea. Wow. So which leaves the Typhoo, which comes in at number two for me. Typhoo number two. And that is Tim's least favourite, the Typhoo. What the Typhoo ever do wrong to you? Let me check the label, make sure it is Typhoo. Yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, of course it is. You guys can't read because Tim's put it on the bottom, not on the side, so you can't see it. Yeah, well, why would it put it on the side? Because then we go, we oh. see it. So that's the great tea debate from a couple of convicts. They <laughs> all are nice and they all have nice qualities about them. Some are a little more tanniny than others, mm. some are a lot smoother, more robust and full body. See the Tetley's quite strong. It's quite full bodied, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But that was nice. I like all those teas. Very yummy. Now Brian has also sent this, which Tim's gonna make. Oh well, careful customs have been into so it. Have customs done that or is it just Tip it around this way oh, sticking at the bottom. Aunt Bessie's golden and delicious Yorkshire pudding mix. Yeah see that? They yeah, put I can it see with it. <laughs> That there, I think that's a Yorkshire pudding. Never had one before. No, neither have I. They put them with baked dinners, I think. So we'll make that up and try it. Tim is absolutely thrilled to be making these for you today. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> so Aunt Bessie's kindly put together this golden delicious Yorkshire pudding mix in a packet. Now there is a hole in the bottom, and as you saw previously, the recipe book was covered in dust, oh, so I don't know how much has been missed out of this. So I think we should probably measure what's supposed to be in here and see how short it is. Smells like flour, looks like flour. So we're just going to measure it. 120 grams. And we have? 115. Ooh, we're missing five grams. So what are you going to pinch the flour in? Self-raising or plain? Self-raising. 
Don't take only a few pinches. That's it, done. Now what I've done, I've looked, I've cheated. I've looked up on YouTube on how to make Yorkshire pudding. Is that and cheap? everybody says you should mix it and then put it in the fridge for two hours and let it stand. Mm -hmm. And you also have to put in two eggs and 200 mils of water. You're supposed to put it all in at once? Oh, I guess. No, I'm gonna do it. It's gone all gluggy. But that's why you're whisking it. Yeah, that looks good. It's pretty smooth. Oh, geez. Very chefy, hun. I think it's smoothed up now. Put it in the fridge I'll put it in and the make fridge. the light up. We have two ovens going tonight because we've got to cook things at different temperatures. And this is why I like having two ovens in a kitchen. We've got a cake pan here to do the Yorkshire puddings in. Hope that's the right thing to do. And we have some grain fed York lard. So we're going to put that in the bottom of these little things here. Two teaspoons in each yeah. little cup. And we've got our oven super hot. We don't usually run it at this temperature, so I hope it's going to cope. We've got some roast lamb in the oven and potatoes and stuff. So when that timer goes off, we're going to put Yorkshire puddings in the oven. All right, let's put some oil in this and we'll heat it up. Set. Put the pan with the oil in for 25 minutes. Two teaspoons into each one. Okay. I think I've judged this quite well. Look at that. Look how that's gone. Ooh. Hope they don't spill everywhere. Okay, they're in. Leave it for 20 minutes. So this has been mixed and sitting in the fridge for about two hours. I watched Gordon Ramsay. So and get your swearing ready. And he said um, to leave it in the oven and pour it out. Staying calm. Oh my goodness, look at that bubble. Is that normal? I guess we'll find out. We don't know how many this is supposed to make or how many we'll actually make out of this. Or if we do little ones or big oh, ones. Oh, it's getting hot. Oh, the stress. Ow, ow. Babes, get out of there, baby. my hand. Not worth burning yourself. Get out. Honey. That's the last That's one. That's a little baby one. Awesome. Okay. Yay, we did it. <laughs> now we'll just have to see if it works. It's all smoky. Get the tea towel ready to fan down the smoke alarm <laughs> and let us know at home if you do this also look at how red chips hands have gone look at that because that's when i was pouring it out in it's, yeah. it's got burnt from the oven now you know why god knows his sweat so much i just discovered on the pack it says it makes 12 it makes 12 yorkshire puddings sorry about the noise we need our exhaust fan on i made nine <laughs> so i guess it's going to be super sized one they're ready oh. <gasps> are they supposed to look like that they're ugly. Huh? They look alright. Is this how it's supposed to be? I think so. <gasps> what do you think? It sort of works. Does it look like the cover? That's the question. It looks like house of burnt. Oh no. No, no, no. Look, that's the cover. She's got a hole in the middle of hers. I've got holes in mine. You've got holes in yours. How many are we supposed to have? They look huge. Well, but they're very big, aren't they? <laughs> Twelve. How they come out? Oh yes. <gasps> oh. It worked. What on earth is this? You're going to get two. Thing? Am I? Yeah. <gasps> they showed three on the pack, but I think two's enough. Oh, that's you. Because I didn't make 12. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. It's just like the, get the packet, get the packet. You're really impressed with what you've done. Come on, guys. Oh. It's worth a thumbs up for sure. Do you put gravy on it? No, I don't know. Just leave them plain for now. Pleasant surprise. Good. <laughs> mm. You know, it's a little bit like a shoe pastry. Mm. Mm. I love it. Nice and bubbly and airy and mm. light. Look at the inside of this fella. Beautiful and puffy, really light and delicate. Who would have thought that a Yorkshire pudding would be so yummy? Oh, was it worth all the stress? I have to say thanks, Aunt Bessie, and thanks, Brian. Mm. Bisto's best gravy and some Coleman's mint sauce to go with our peas and our lamb. Do you dip these things in your gravy as well? Who knew? I'm impressed. Same. Have to open up the other <coughs> jar. Do you dip it in gravy? Perfect mm -hmm. on the Yorkshire puddings. We love them. Out of 10, what would you give the way that these turned out? I think Tim did a really good I job. I think 10 out of 10. Mm. They taste so nice. <laughs> Mm. So I just good. dipped in the gravy. I, I know. Mm. Let us know in the comments below if you love a Yorkshire pudding. So next up we have this for our cats to try. Felix Crispy's beef and chicken. Mm. What's that? One calorie per treat. Okay, we won't get fat pussies this way. No artificial colours. Well, why would they colour them? Cats colour blind? No, no, I think mm, so. I don't know what colours they actually see. They make it sound nice, light and airy texture. Do you want to try one? Yeah. Do you want it? No. I will if you will. No. No, all right. You won't believe how big they are. How big are they? Show them. Show me. This is 
a max pack, by the way. It's like fish food pellets. Oh, they are very tiny. Put your hands out where you can show everybody. Why my hand? Because you've got nice hands for presenting. No, I don't want a whole cat food. This is what they look like. Would you like one? They're in adorable little shapes of stars and moons, which is so cute. Do you reckon it'd make you sick if you ate one? Yes. Will they like it? Let's find out. So Buffy's here at the back. Hey, sweetie. Look what I got. Come on, beautiful. Kissy. Hello. Yeah, they're just there. Okay. <laughs> Look. Oh, yes, success. Yes, he likes them. Oh, that's great. She really likes this kind of stuff. Hello. Oh, fantastic. Buffy likes them as well. I'm so happy. Hear that crunching? That's the sound of happiness. Thank you so much, Brian, for sending us all of these British treats. We really do appreciate it. And if everyone in the comments below could please thank Brian, because without him, this taste test would not be possible. Have a fantastic week, everybody. We'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye. I don't know how it gets crossed so quickly. It's a mystery.